Hello and welcome to Book Review Monday on Solidarity Sister with Kristen Wilson. I did a little calculating today and realized that at the pace I've kept over the last six weeks, I will finish 381 audiobooks in a year. I have three to recommend to you this week. First, The Shape of Mercy by Susan Meisner. Lauren comes from a life of privilege but is determined to do life on her own terms. She opts for a state college over Stanford and wants to earn her own income rather than accept the generous monthly allowance her family offers. Enter 83-year-old librarian Abigail, who hires Lauren to transcribe the journal entries of her ancestor, Mercy Hayworth, who was a victim of the Salem witch trials. Trigger warning here, and only barely a spoiler, as this fact is revealed fairly early on. Mercy dies by hanging. Lauren feels a deep connection to Mercy, and as Mercy's story of true love and heartbreak unfolds, Lauren and Abigail both come to terms with their own realities. This one moved me. Mercy's story was so tragic, my heart ached for her. The Salem witch trials were just such pure insanity, it's baffling. But then sometimes you see how mob mentality still plays out in the world today and it is sadly a little less baffling. I love to see Lauren's character development. It took a little time, but she was willing to recognize her own biases and let her life experiences lead her to personal growth. The relationship between Lauren and Abigail was also really powerful. There was hope and despair and mistakes and forgiveness. I also really love when there are deep friendships that develop between people that come from different places or that have a wide age gap. I just, I love to see humanity come together in a way that maybe was unexpected because we really can form deep and like abiding friendships with people who are not just like us. And I think that we're better for it, to be honest. I would definitely recommend this one. And in fact, I haven't listened to a Susan Meisner novel yet that I wouldn't recommend. My other favorites for this week were the second and third books of the Murphy Shepherd novels by Charles Martin. The wait for the first one on the Libby app was like 16 weeks long, so I decided to just read the other two first. From the description on Amazon of The Letter Keeper, Murphy Shepherd has made a career of finding those no one else could, survivors of human trafficking. His life's mission is helping others find freedom, but then the nightmare strikes too close to home. When his new wife, her daughter, and two other teenage girls are stolen, Murphy is left questioning all he has thought to be true. With more dead ends than leads, he has no idea how to find his loved ones. After everything is stripped away, love is what remains. Hope feels lost, but Murphy is willing to expend his last breath trying to bring them home. And because I want to kind of review these as a set... I'm going to give you the description of the record keeper as well. Because You're Worth Rescue, the unrelenting third installment in the Murphy Shepherd series from New York Times bestselling author Charles Martin. Murphy Shepherd's last rescue mission very nearly cost him his life. He liked nothing more than to stay close to his wife and daughters for a while. But Bones' nemesis must be stopped, and there are so many who still need to know that they are worth rescuing. As the cat and mouse game moves into the open, Murphy is tested at every turn, both physically and mentally. Then the unthinkable happens. His beloved mentor and friend is taken, gone without a trace. Murphy lives by the mantra that love always shows up. But how can he rescue Bones when he has no leads? These books actually gutted me. (laughs) I kept thinking about them days later. The two main characters are both larger than life, and the depth of their love and sacrifice is unparalleled. I was inspired by both Murphy Shepard and Bones, though Bones was a little bit unbelievable. This is definitely Christian fiction, and Bones in particular is a savior-type character. There is a major theme of the biblical parable of the lost sheep, whereby the shepherd is willing to leave the 99 to go after the one. Also, the Bible verse John fifteen thirteen, which reads, Greater love hath no man than this, that a man lay down his life for his friends. Heavy themes around human trafficking here, good triumphs, but at a great cost. 
also just this interesting play out of how when people are raised in a very similar way and have similar life experiences, how different their reactions can become and how much our choices really do matter. We do have more power than we realize in our lives. And we are not the sum total of the things that happen to us. They, they do affect us, but we do get to choose moving forward. We can choose different. These books are well-written and they're highly engaging. If you like Christian fiction with a lot of action, these would be a good choice. But be prepared to go on an emotional ride. And that's it for this week. Thank you for being part of the Solidarity Sister community. We needed you. Yeah.